Hello guys. Today I want us to talk about the Remesh 2. Uh, mostly because I have sourced this model online in its surfaces and the meshes are made of triangles and you wanna use Remesh to make this into quads and the the reasons why you want to make it into quads is so that when you texture the surface maybe you want to put a logo or nice scratches on it it's you know you have too much control um the other reason is to reduce clutter like uh, there's so many unnecessary edges and vertices on this model which makes it heavier than it should be and for the sake of oh, my container the, the the quads are more than enough for this stuff is to look nice and to have that texture I want to add. So but we're going to work on this one surface here and then maybe cascade it to the rest of the uh, faces later. So with my face selected I'm going to double click on that face and then make sure that I split it. And when you split it notice what happens here this face that i selected it will separate from the original model um, and then i can turn that original model off and i have this mesh right here the face i want to work on and then <coughs> excuse me let me delete the textures and then now i have this maybe add a white one so that it's visible there you go right here. sure now we have this mesh here so i'm going to press shift c to bring up this commander the search box and i will type in rematch and bring that here and then i'll take my face this one right here and i'll drop it into remesh make it the child of that see immediately now you have quads um which is essentially what we are looking for and how it's supposed to work and i like this but there are other functions here you can play with uh, such as the mesh density to increase the density add more edges and uh, vertices uh, and you can also change the algorithms so that you can you can also use the poly count sort of you know punch in the number of polygons you want maybe let's say hundred thousand and the more poly count you have or the more digits you have the more it will text your text your computer so right now it is blue which means it's still loading it's still calculating and you want to increase the pony count to sort of match the identity of the child uh, because uh, when you are at the maybe like uh, it was 1000 before it is a little bit further uh, it's not uh, exactly identical to the child so as you see the more police you you add the more heavier it gets which is essentially what we don't want because we are using remesh to sort of reduce not to add so i'm gonna go back here before it finishes and then reduce this to one thousand and you'll see that probably finish loading faster but again the less polygons you have it means that it is far from the original mesh you had so now which means i'm gonna go back to my z measure so that i have this nice shape i wanted and let's make this i think it was ten thousand before if i'm yeah it was one thousand yeah for for my for my for my shipping container this works this works yeah and that's how the mesh works and when i see the difference is can also go back here um well before that i'm gonna turn my model back on turn this off for now and then select this face of the shipping container and then i'll delete it and then turn back my remesher on see 
it's back to where it was and if i wanna make this editable so that i can add texture to it to adopt to this uh if i want this mesh to adopt this um new new mesh or new look i'm gonna come here left click and click and connect plus delete and then it will make it editable but before you do that you want to make a copy of your face face as you can see i've been making copies and down here i have a copy of my original model here so that if you know i want to go back i have a backup because maybe you want to go back you want to change something but and then we'll come back here and see that it worked pretty well for me because the reason why I wanted to use Remesha in the first place was so that I can put this logo nicely here. And it's it looks good even from the size. You can see that it's working nicely for the shipping container model and the surface. So that's pretty much it about Remesh. Uh, play around with it, see how it can work for the models you have sourced online, the models that are in tries instead of quads. And please follow me for more tutorials. Thank you.